I'm Seth Ashley. I'm a doctoral candidate at the University of Missouri School of Journalism, and uh, I taught the uh, taught some news literacy uh, a news literacy module to our freshman interest group uh, to many sections of, of it in the fall, and uh, we're just starting to hopefully expand that program a little more and um, also incorporate some of the stuff into uh, what we teach freshmen in our bigger class for non-majors. Coming to the Summer Institute was uh, was helpful. We definitely incorporated some of that material directly into what we did in the fall with our freshman interest groups. And um, the, I think one of the best things uh, that I got out of it was just to, to walk away with a ton of examples and a you know, kind of prepackaged curriculum that you can really use the day you're, d you're finished. And obviously everyone wants to adjust it to fit their own, suit their own needs, but uh, it's a great place to start. And uh, you know, sometimes finding examples is the hardest part or the most time consuming part of putting putting the stuff together. So the fact that you guys help uh, help with that is very valuable. I think uh, you know some of the stuff lacks um, empirical validation. I think that's probably something that a lot of scholars are going to want to see more of before they move forward with the stuff. I mean, everybody wants that, right? You want to know how to assess things and show that they're useful. So and see what the long-term effects are, and I think I know you guys are trying to get at that. What, you know, what what long-term effects on engagement and um, political knowledge, that kind of thing. So, so the figs are they are self-selected. Um, there are about half the students participate in a fig, and it's these groups of about 20 students that they might be together simply because they live on a dorm floor together, or they might be together because they're all biology majors. There's like a discovery and science fig, so and they put you know the science people together. Um, there's engineering figs, you know, so some of them are grouped by major, some of them are simply grouped by uh, the floor you live on. There's some basic stuff that they have to do about like diversity and ethics, and then we're trying to incorporate the media literacy as one of those core courses along with financial literacy and health literacy. We did eight, I think, but we tried to at least give them a chance to say, this was stupid, I didn't learn anything, this was a waste of my time, or to say, this was great, I hadn't thought about this stuff, and we got both kinds of responses, but I'd say more of the uh, the latter, more more positive than not. And um, the faculty that were, all the, all the figs have a faculty advisor too, so, and they loved it, you know, there was really, really good response from, uh, from faculty, so. I think there's definitely interest for this kind of stuff all across campus. Important thing for teaching news literacy is to really move up and down the ladder of abstraction as much as possible. Um, you know, start start with concepts, um, but or start with examples, but move quickly back and forth between the two. And um, you really can't have enough concrete examples. And it's important that you spend time with each one and really work through it. And um, you know, show students that it's that it's not something just to, you know, uh, that you can just superficially kind of glance at things and immediately grasp why they're important. They're things that you really it takes time to sit and think about what you're looking at and why it matters, um, and then. Uh, Move, move back and forth between the, the concepts behind the examples.